come next to me. Hi, we uh, are with uh, Peter Murray Rust from Cambridge uh, University. Have a seat, have a microphone. Hi, pleased to meet you, Professor. Enchanté. Enchanté, that's the <laughs> French word. We are at the, at the 12th edition of BioVision Forum here in Lyon. Uh, BioVision Forum is 1,200 attendees, 150 uh, speakers and experts debating with all the attendees. You are here also uh, to debate for the debate session, which is the future of the scientific communication. Um, Professor, which are... Call me Peter. Peter, okay, <laughs> okay, Peter, this intimate. Peter, which are the implications of progress? We see that the, the, the new generation, innovation, we are progressing, we see also it in the publishing. Uh, which are these uh, implications from uh, the view of uh, 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 the perspective of research? Right, well, we have a huge amount of publications. Uh, during this talk, three new publications will occur, like this, right? Really? Three new How many pages? And oh, 10, 10, 100, and people have to read them all, but they can't. So they need machines to read them for them, mm -hmm. uh, to help them write. And I believe that everybody is a scientist. Scientists are about asking questions, not about being important people. So I believe that people at school, uh, people who are uh, farmers, people uh, who are working in small companies, they are all scientists, but they are not allowed to read the literature. They are forbidden by the publishers. So the publishers actually make it difficult to read the literature, and that is how they generate their money. And I want to break this. I want everybody on the planet to be able to read the scientific literature because that is one of the things which is necessary to save the planet. Is scientific literature uh, uh, available for those people? If, if I want to read, would I understand this basic English? Yes. This okay. says that if I give a rat this drug, uh, it will make them feel less pain. That is what this paper says. It's difficult to understand. Uh, uh, it's written in difficult language, but it is possible to make it very simple. It is? Yes. So it, it's what you are fighting for? I'm fighting for everybody to have the chance to read papers like this. And how do you fight for this? Um, I fight politically in Brussels. I'm trying to, con uh, I'm helping uh, commissioners and members of European Parliament to change the laws so that it is legal for people like you to read the scientific literature. At the moment, you cannot. Because it's illegal. Uh, because it is illegal unless you pay 100,000 euros a year. Um, so that is the problem. So your main problem is publishers? Yes. My main uh, problem is large commercial publishers um, and we need to change that politically and uh, then we will have new technology which will completely change the way that we look at science. Okay, so f first of all it's a political problem yes. that you have to solve with, uh, with Europe and European Parliament. Yes. What is the next step? Okay, let's say that I as a farmer I have access to those documents. What will change in my life? Uh, you would have a machine which understands your language. So you would say, what are the new pests in Europe? What are the invasive species? What types of new animals are coming to Europe because of climate change? That is a simple question for a farmer. They need to know. And it's in the literature, but they cannot read it. Oh, they cannot. But, uh, of course, it's, it's the one health problem, one health, one world problem that we have this problem exactly. right here in a Biovision uh, 2017. Uh, but tell me, uh, uh, if I know more about my animals, about the, 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 my planet, will I change my everyday life? I would hope so. I don't know. At least you will know what the problems are, ah. uh, and you may be able to work out some of the solutions. So that means that from this paper, we can all change the planet. Exactly. It's, it's, a, it's that simple? It's that So why does it take that time? I mean, the <laughs> uh, European Parliament should have... Uh, Wh why do we still see global warming? Why do we still see coal being burnt? Uh, you know, I am not a politician. I see the problems. I'm not capable of political solutions. I'm capable of technical and scientific solutions. Do you feel alone in your fight? Uh, 
I do not have enough people uh, to help here, and most of the help comes from outside universities. So there are groups who are trying to free information in Europe, people who want to make copyright uh, a thing of the past so that information can flow freely, people who want uh, to make science centers for citizens, uh, people who want to um, uh, encourage everyone over the world, not just the rich West, uh, to take part in science. So uh, is there a lobbying of publishers? who are just uh, influence the parliamentaries in Europe? Uh, yes, so my colleague in, um, uh, in Brussels, Julia Reda, who is the pirate um, MEP, uh -huh. said that after she put forward her proposals, in one week she had 80 invitations to dinner from publishers. Really? Yes. So it, it's a kind of lobbying? I mean, we can it's a very strong and very rich lobby, yes. But is that lobby uh, influent also the the lobby of the farmers, I mean, you know, selling products and... Uh... I, w I think we see this in all big industries, that we see it in agrochemicals, where there is a lobby, we see it in oil and petrochemicals and energy, where there's a lobby, uh, we see it in transport, where there's a lobby. Uh, lobbies are huge, very powerful, and they're taking the rights away from citizens. But it's a David and a Goliath fight. I mean, yes, can is. you fight? I fight, yes. You will. You, you I still, fight, you... and the way that I fight is to encourage young people uh, to realize that uh, their energy and their courage uh, will change uh, the way we do things. Peter, last question. Will you, would you go against the law and publish those uh, things on the internet, like scan? If I, felt it would, if I felt it would work, I would break the law, yes. I, but I have to make sure that it's done in such a way that people understand it. I come from a history of people who have broken the law. My uh, grandmother um, uh, broke the law for the right of women to vote. So I would break the law if it was going to be effective. For yes. the naked family. Thank you, and it was very interesting. Thank you, Peter Mary Russ. We uh, will uh, find you at the debate session for the future in scientific communication. This was very interesting, and I hope your fight uh, will be uh, succeeding. In thank you very much process. for giving me the chance. Thank you, thank you, Peter. And we're still here in uh, uh, the uh, TV uh, broadcast of thank you of uh, BioVision uh, 2017, the 12th edition. And now we uh, we will have uh, Ali Mobasheri. Maybe he's here and waiting for us. Thank you, thank you, Peter. <laughs>